Jenny Parsons, Assistant Curator at the Florence Griswold Museum, and I'm standing in our current special exhibition called Fragile Earth, The Naturalist Impulse in Contemporary Art. This gallery features the work of Mark Dion. Uh, since the 1980s, Mark has been pioneering a really unique approach to conceptual art, which combines installation, appropriation, and performance art, combined with scientific methodologies. And so he's actually a perfect fit for this show, which examines the continuation of the historic artist naturalist, um, paired with what contemporary artists are doing today, innovating upon those traditions and responding to the environmental crisis. So when you come and visit this gallery, you'll see many things that Mark um, chose in conversation with myself. He came to the museum to learn about the site and our history, uh, study the narrative of other artist naturalists that had visited this site in the early 20th century before him. And so you'll see different prints dealing with the hierarchies and categorizations of nature. You'll see an installation uh, composed of tools um, that accompanied him on an expedition when he followed in the footsteps of the 18th century artist naturalist William Bartram. You'll also see field guides authored by the artist himself. And Diane's also known for curating museum collections into fresh displays that often incorporate those collections with his new creations. And that's what he's done here for us. So you'll see paintings um, newly acquired by the museum uh, by Lyme artist Harry Hoffman. And Hoffman in the 1920s went on expeditions with one of Mark Dion's historic heroes, the naturalist William Beebe. And along with those paintings, you'll see the cabinet that was a catalyst for this whole project, which was one assembled by the Impressionist Willard Metcalf. And while that cabinet contains eggs, bird nests, um, butterflies, and moths, Mark was inspired one uh, to create a new cabinet, which incorporates um, the contemporary debris that he and his assistants collected on the coast of New England. And that's the one you can see there behind me. So in all these different ways, um, the artist has um, used our collection and brought things here to create a conversation between the past and present, which really speaks to both the historic tradition of the artist naturalist and how artists are innovate, innovating upon that today. So I hope you'll come visit and see the show before September 8th.